Hello, Karen Clements, Communities of Color News. The ladies of the Delta Sigma Theta sorority had their second in their series of police and community relations forums. And this one focused on law enforcement agencies and the communities they served. The forum brought together very distinguished panelists, which included former Chief Banks and public advocate Tish James was the guest speaker, and she started off things right by setting the tone as to why the conversation was important. Um, there's an urgent need for police and criminal justice reform. There's a need for transparency and accountability measures, including body cameras and practicing non-lethal uses of force. The panelists that included Norman Seabrook who is the president of the Corrections Officers Benevolent Association, and Ernest Owens, who is the commanding officer of the state Supreme Court, spoke about the problems with policing and the use of excessive force. The New York City Police Department, and I'm part of that, I want to be clear, I'm not separating myself from the, from the blame here, and I would suspect law enforcement throughout the country. We're playing with the playbook from yesterday. And we're incapable to realize that there's a new playbook that has to happen. Zero inmates died at the hands of a correction officer for using force. Zero. But you want to target the correction department. I think that's a little bit disingenuous. We don't have guns in jail. We don't have these war uh, gang, uh, what do they call it, gang bangers that we walk around like thugs. We do what we're supposed to do, but we have the right to defend ourselves. We have a right to defend another inmate. We have the right to defend the public, but we get this perception because of our color, let's keep it real, that we're doing something that we're not supposed to be doing. The great thing about the discussion was there was not only good information, but some takeaways, some things that we can actually look to act upon. Major Owens gave some great information about how to act in court, you know, dress professionally, be polite, those types of things. He also had some interesting information about the challenges they were having about hidden cameras and filming of testimonies and rival gang members. But Chief Banks had some actionable items that he thought that communities could use. And A so community response team. That has it. See, we're calling for these special prosecutors, but make no mistake about it, is that it's the people on the ground who's doing the work that turns the evidence over to the special prosecutors. And that's sort of an after the fact incident. Sadly, the question that everyone wanted answered was not answered in the forum. Why did Chief Banks leave? He did, however, give a partial answer to why. The nation would help to spur some of the changes that I had been, I had been looking to get done for such a very, very long time. And, and I had been doing this for 28 years. And uh, what, what became so very apparent to me um, in the promises that I was made about the direction that the department was, was going to take, it was just a little bit too slow for me. So, uh, you know the drill. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and tell your friends about us, Communities of Color News.